quarterfinals day at the Brisbane International with arguably the standout contest, an All-American tie between 15-time Grand Slam singles champion Serena Williams and 19-year-old Sloane Stephens. Serena hadn't lost to any American apart from her sister Venus since way back in 2005 and she didn't look in any mood to let that run end here. Stevens matched Williams well, though, until the end of the set when the third seed broke for the first time. Game in the first set, Williams. Now well, there's the fierceness, the determination. Stevens, who was the only teenager in last year's season end top 50, produced some wonderful shot selections to delight the Brisbane crowd. Up and over. Brilliant. And it was clear how much it meant to Serena when she finally managed to break Stevens in the second set for 5 3. There it is again. The okay. come on. Williams. A bemused Sloane Stevens, not pleased with her friend Serena Williams. Serena served out for a straight sets win. Game. And she slams Same the door Williams. with a hold in love. But two sets to Make love. no mistake, six, four, a lot six, of respect three. was earned tonight for Sloane Stevens and her game. And the veteran comes out on top. Earlier on Thursday, world number one Victoria Azarenka took on qualifier and world number 103 ranked Ksenia Pervak for the first time. Azarenka, who beat Germany's Sabina Lizicki in the previous round, performed even better on this occasion, starting brightly to take early control of the match. And Pervak tries to get tricky, and she's burned with Azarenka's speed and ability. Pervak shot Caroline Wozniacki in round one, but the Kazakh never looked like causing an even bigger upset here as Azarenka cruised to the opening set. And the yeah, credit yeah. belongs to Azarenka. Azarenka. Broken to prolong the opening set. She breaks right back, and it's a one-set lead. The second proved to be just as one-sided. All components of the top seeds game working efficiently as she showed her opponent no mercy. Pervak didn't hold serve once in the match. Azarenka completing a 69-minute demolition job to set up a mouth-watering semi-final against Serena. Yay. And it's done. And the world number one remains unblemished in Brisbane. 2009 champion is through to the semifinals. In the other half of the Brisbane draw, fourth seed Angelique Kerber went up against world number 36 Anastasia Pavlichenkova. Kerber had a chance to serve out the opening set, but Pavlichenkova struck back. Game, Pavlichenkova. And there's the break. Pavlichenkova hitting a big flat ball at the backhand of Angelique Kerber. German, overwrought, can't find a way to get the hold. Five games the set went on to a tie break where the Russian capitalized on Kerber's mistakes to take charge. Game. And that's it. Seven Russian games. Anastasia Pavlyuchenkova takes the opening set in 55 minutes from the four seed Angelique Kerber. After a break apiece, the second set also went to a tie break. Pavlyuchenkova deservedly won it to reach her first WTA semi final since March 2011. Ms. Kerber is challenging the call on the left bar line. The ball is pulled in. Uh, Kerber's got a couple challenges in her pocket. Might as well not leave them there. She'll take a look, but she doesn't look convinced. As she's already at the net to shake the hand of Anastasia Pavlyuchenkova, and that's exactly how the match ends. Pavlyuchenkova would meet the winner of Thursday's other quarterfinal. Last year's runner-up here in Brisbane, Daniela Hantikova, against the lucky loser, Lizia Surenko. The world number 116 only got into the main draw as a late replacement for Maria Sharapova, but she's taken full advantage and continued doing that here to take the opening set. And she takes the second. And with that, the set 6-3 to Lucia Sorenko. Hantikova certainly had her chances in the match, especially in the early stages of the second set as she battled back to break serve. Oh, excellent scrambling for Serenko, but Hantukova 
just took enough pace off that drop shot. Hantakova later led 4-2, but from there Tsurenko rallied, winning the last four games to make the first WTA semi-final of her career. And she makes it into her first ever WTA semi-final at the expense of Daniela Hantukova. What a gutsy performance that was by Nasia Surenko.